Okay, chappies, welcome back. We're going to do some unboxing today. Received three packages with a, a, a totally coincidental Star Wars theme to them. Uh, all three of these packages have Star Wars items inside them, so uh, uh, without further ado, let's get into these. Now, this will take me just a few moments to... Uh, Get into this. Okay. Looks like I just moved the entire table. That's all right. Okay. Now. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, lots of bubble wrap. That's appreciated. All right. So the first. Item is a Star Wars Black Series Sith Trooper. This is a 112 scale figure, the same size as the uh, TIE Fighter Pilot and the uh, uh, AT-AT Driver and the uh, First Order uh, Snow Trooper and Luke Skywalker figures we've already seen. And uh, this guy had a lot of these for sale, and he had, ma he had Make Offer uh, activated on eBay, so I did. And since uh, I made offers on so many of them, at a, and I, I'll be honest, I lowballed on these, and uh, he clearly just wanted uh, rid of these. So he uh, combined shipping on all of them, and uh, uh, everyone's happy. So it would appear this is a Sith Trooper, which at first glance is a recolored uh, First Order Stormtrooper. However, I don't think that's the case. I think this has a lot more detail on it. We'll explore that, because uh, I, I think there's a, a First Order Trooper in here as well. And we'll compare them. All right. So for now, we'll just put that right here. And uh, we will have to make some additional room. All right. Oh, what else we got? Let's go ahead and just take out the packing so I know when it's done. Ah, now this one. This is how it began. Yeah. This is... A first order jet trooper, which is not a stormtrooper, it's a jet trooper. Now, again, I haven't seen these modern Disney Star Wars films, so I don't know what's going on here. It just looks like a cool uniform, cool figure. Um, there, I do know that there's a red version of this, it uh, sells for a much higher price point. Uh, I'm still uh, trying to snag one of those, but uh, and I, sh I guess I should decide whether I really want uh, two of the same figure that are just two different colors. That's, that's something to consider as well. That, that's pretty cool. Obviously uh, 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 influenced by the Stormtrooper uniform. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll unbox all, or we'll open all these. No, I'll open them off camera, and then I'll do reviews for all these in uh, the days, weeks, and months to come. Okay. So there's two. I think there will be five figures in here total. Oh, this is a huge box. Uh, oh, and here's why. I think we'll save this. This one, until we look at the other two in here. So we'll put that one aside. Yeah, everything's accounted for, it would appear. Yeah, there it is. All right. This one is a, f a first order stormtrooper. So yeah, it is a little different than the Sith trooper. So now right away, Yeah, that, that looks all right. The um, Some of the armor is white and some of it is a little off-white. I don't blame the seller for that. That's probably a production deal. But there we go. Okay, Glossy. The helmet and armor. Some, some aspects of the armor are very glossy. All right. That looks okay. And... One more of these, and then we're going to get this box off the table, and I'll show you the fifth item in the package. Alright. So, uh, we've already seen my review of the Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot. Well, here is a First Order TIE Fighter Pilot. Again, folks, this is all the result of playing the below retail price game, and, uh, uh, this is one I probably would have skipped if the price hadn't been so so low on it uh, because I already have a TIE Fighter pilot. This one is the modern 
Disney version of a TIE fighter pilot. So we'll uh, check that out. Much more reasonable <laughs> weapon in his hand there for a pilot, in my opinion. My, my main issue with this setup, this aesthetic, is only one hose coming out of the, um, of the uh, helmet into the... Uh, uh, respirator on the chest as opposed to the the classic imperial tie fighter which has two hoses one coming out of each of the nozzle uh, that that's that's the big thing for me um aesthetically anyway but it's in the collection now we'll uh, open this and, and review it at some point in the future so those are the four boxed uh figures there's one more from this lot from this uh package just let me uh clean up a little here for a moment though Now, here is the fifth item from that package. Golly, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's only Darth Vader, and he comes in this, what looks just like a, a large homage to the original Kenner Early Bird Certificate envelope. And uh, after I put this on the table, we'll, I'll walk you through what I mean by that. In fact, that... Yeah, we'll go ahead and talk about it. It's called the Legacy Pack. This was from, I think, 2017. You can see the 40th anniversary of Star Wars seal on that. Uh, outside of this container, this figure, awfully expensive. But for some reason, when packaged in this, a much more reasonable price point. So there's some stands in here that I actually might make use of. Uh, yeah. It comes with this display. You're supposed to put all these original 12 homages on there's the darth vader and of course uh yeah we won't have any more from this here's the one i'm trying to get impossible to find at a reasonable price um and also the droids i probably eventually want to try to find those so, but um it comes with this little dis this display stand that will uh that will hold up to 12 figures and if i have room for the display stand anywhere and i, I may not uh, that's what i'll that's how i'll display these figures I'm picking up. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to put them beneath the Action Force figures on my entertainment center uh, on NECA stands until I get some more Action Force stands. All right, so uh, the Darth Vader figure is in there. Of course, he does come with a lightsaber. It's a very impressive figure in the uh, 112 scale, and uh, he has the full cloak and everything, and it's going to look great. All right, so we'll just put that back here. Is it still visible? Not really. So we'll just, uh, we're going to have to make room anyway. Sorry. Darth Vader, we're going to have to cover you up back there. So that's five figures so far. Now we have a smaller box to open. Uh, there should only be one figure in this one. Okay. And actually, this one I can actually open on camera. It's, it's manageable. Got to be careful though. Paperwork appears to be an invoice. Very good. And very well packaged. Always appreciated in some bubble wrap. I'll try to cut this bubble wrap carefully because I may reuse this. There we go. And we've scored a Luke Skywalker. Black Series figure in his Hoth costume, his Hoth uniform. Um, I think I got lucky on this one, finding this one below retail price, because uh, this one's kind of difficult to find at anything but retail or higher. Now, not as much luck with uh, Princess Leia and Han Solo in their Hoth outfits. They're out there. I just, uh, um, I'm just i just going to be patient. There's also a Hoth trooper, and, of course, if you're jumping that far, that, that far down the rabbit hole, you, you're going to want to pick up Chewbacca, and the droids, and of course Darth Vader, we, we got him, and a, a snow trooper, an imperial snow trooper, at the very least. And uh, But, you know, again, I'm playing my own special game of just how, uh, just how low can I go on these, as far as price. And I'm doing okay so far. Um, and I'm trying to stay away from buying out of the box, because 
a lot of times when you buy used out of the box, you're buying someone else's problem. Now, I was very lucky when purchasing G.I. Joe classified figures out of the box um, because they all turned out to be all right. But, uh, you know, that my luck is eventually going to run out if I keep doing that. So I'm, I'm trying to stick to sealed in package thing. As you can see, this does not come in a box. It comes on a blister card. So, uh, you know, I won't be saving this card the way I'll be saving the boxes. He looks all right. Uh, there's be, there's be, I'm beginning to question the manufacturer of these Black Series figures and that uh, a lot of them I've got now have weak ankles. I hope that doesn't continue to be the case. If so, I'm going to have to get more Action Force stands to keep them from keep them on their feet because NECA stands won't support them. They just flip backwards and fall over. Yeah. But uh, well, it comes with a blaster. He does come with a lightsaber, as he should. That's cool. I wonder if the blade comes out of that. We'll find all that out. Uh, but uh, it looks like a good figure. Um... When I was a little boy, I possessed the Kenner version of this figure in three and three quarter inch scale. And uh, apparently I was one of the very few people in my area to have that particular figure. I remember buying it uh, on an out of town trip. That might have been why. And uh, that gave me some credentials, some clout on the playground, as I recall. And uh, I took full advantage of that as, you know, a, a six or seven year old uh, boy. But, uh,. It looks like a, a cool figure. Okay. So there's the hall of action figures from from this lot. Let me stand up there. There you go. Very good. Okay. Now, lots of packing material, which, again, I can hopefully make good use of. Now, there's one more box. Big box. Huge box. And, uh, I don't know if we can see this on camera. Uh, I'll show you a close-up. This is how it arrived. It's got a big dent in the corner there. That concerns me. That always does. Uh, it's probably not the shipper's fault. It's probably the the, the carrier's fault. But uh, this one actually weighs a little. Right. Before I showcase anything in here, folks, I just want to assess the situation. Now we're okay. It's okay. Everything's fine in there. So what I'm going to have to do now, folks, is uh, actually take the box off the table and put it in the floor. Because this is going to take a few minutes, okay? And I need the room. I need the space on the table now. In fact, before I proceed, how far are we in? 12 minutes? 12 and a half minutes? Uh, I need to rehydrate. Okay, so as stated, this is a very much a Star Wars themed uh, unboxing. So what we have here... And I have to confess, the box is much smaller than I thought it was going to be. Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures Game. What is this, you ask? Well, we're going to find that out together in the days, weeks, and months to come. Uh, I've known about this as far back as like 2015. And because of <laughs> the, the price of this stuff, it's always been like, no, this is, it's, I don't need to, to get involved in anything like this. Um... It's it's a board game, but it's it's not the typical board game. It's more like a, a war game. Like, uh, what are some good examples? Um, uh, Warhammer, I guess, is the one that comes to mind. There's some other uh, uh, Star Wars games like this, but they're different focuses like Armada and, and one other where it's ground combat. But um, look here, we've got an X-Wing and two TIE Fighters. And you can tell those have little pegs in them that go on these stands that you use to, as playing pieces. Uh, this is a starter set, a core starter set. Um, the black box means that this is actually version 2.0 as, as opposed to 1.0, which is less expensive, but it's not compatible with uh, uh, the modern rules for the game. Like I said, it's been out since about 2015, and it's actually gone to, undergone two rules revisions. Uh, there's a 2.5... It's, there's not a physical box set for it, but there are rules on the internet for 2.5. Um, you know, and sad to say, my table is the wrong size to play this game. You're supposed to play this on a card table, three feet by three feet. My table is five feet long by two and a half feet wide. Um, I just can't win when it comes to these board games requiring all these stupidly different dimensions to play their games on. So we'll be playing this game on uh, a four foot by two foot uh, spance, that mouse pad I was talking about. Hell or high water, that's how we're going to play it, okay? And um, 
Uh, I can't really tell you a lot about the game at this time. It, it, it looks pretty fun watching uh, gameplay on, on YouTube. Uh, a little slow, but uh, I think it's because the people playing it are deliberately taking their time so they can show viewers how it plays. Um, now, it says for two players, but there are rules for solitaire play. That's right down my alley. So let's, you know, let's do the list. Board game, check. That's right down my alley. Star Wars, check. That's right down my alley. Um, Turn-based, uh, luck-driven combat with dice. Right down my alley. We play games like that all the time. Uh, little miniature spaceships. I love miniatures. This is established. Everything's right down my alley. Am I going to like this? Well, we'll find that out together, folks. So there is a core starter set for Star Wars X-Wing miniatures, okay? Next, and this is going to flabbergast all viewers, I think, unless you play this game. Another X-Wing Miniatures starter set. Why in the hell did I buy two of these? Well, uh, this is going to be challenging to explain, really, unless you play this game and already know the answer. Um, as is the case with Subutio and Electric Football, uh, this game does not technically require all the pieces uh, you need to play it. Uh, let me extrapolate. Uh, this comes with three attack dice and three defense dice. Three red dice, three green dice. Okay, that's all good and well, but here's the problem. A lot of attacks from these ships use five to six, four, five, or six attack dice, or four, five, or six defense dice, meaning you have to roll, pick those dice up, and roll again to get your total. Uh, so that means that there aren't technically the proper number of dice in the starter set to play the game properly. So, what do people do? They buy two starter sets. But, that's not the only reason. Um, there's also the the, uh, the damage cards to consider, which I don't quite know what that means yet, but again, I'm going to learn this game along with viewers, probably. Uh, there aren't enough damage cards to support two players that come with one starter set. This is for one person. Uh, the idea is you take this to a uh, an X-Wing Miniatures tournament, and, and play and get your ass kicked and find out you need to spend more money on different ships and, and more expensive upgrades and stuff in the way of cards and tokens and all this other stuff. And that's how this uh, uh, is how this, the company makes its money. Um, but, and uh, the, the real big reason, folks, is that you technically get two of these miniature spaceships for free if you buy two starter, ship, uh, starter sets because... Uh, uh, each of these ships runs about 20 bucks each retail, unless you can find a good deal on the internet, which I did. But the point is, is that uh, the universal advice for new players of Star Wars X-Wing is to buy two 2.0 starter sets uh, for a, a, a larger number of ships to put on the board, uh, the correct number of dice, and the correct number of game tokens for two players. Or, uh, I'm sorry, not game tokens, but uh, damage cards uh, for two players. So... If that still seems batshit crazy to you, I do not disagree, but that's just the way it is, okay? So, let's go ahead and get this, just stack these on top of each other like so. Now, what's next? Okay. Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game, Phoenix Cell Squadron Pack. It's three more ships for this game. You get a B-Wing, modeled in red. And two A-Wings modeled in green rather than their standard uh, red and white. Uh, I'm fine with that. I have to say these models are a tiny bit bigger than I thought they were going to be. So eh, that kind of, that kind of ex explains the cost of these at retail. So um, what's the point here? Well, you get three uh, more ships. You actually get three ships for the price of two. That's the big appeal. And lots of new pilot cards and, and, and upgrade cards and... Words, I don't really know what they mean yet. Uh, there's a good value in here that you're just going to take my word for it. And in fact, that will show you the contents of what it comes with. Yes, this is a kind of a combination between, uh, um, frankly, Dungeons & Dragons and uh, Magic the Gathering, as far as you've got these cards that change the rules, you know, that, you know, bend the rules if you have that card on the table. And, you know, there's, there's dice that you roll to determine the outcomes of these... Um, of these um, uh, combat encounters. Okay, so there's the Phoenix Cell Squadron pack. There's three extra ships. So the one, two, three, four, five, six. There's nine ships so far. Okay. Next, here is 
the opponents, the X-Wing Miniature Sky Strike Academy Squadron Pack with uh, three more ships in here. You have two TIE Interceptors with some squadron colors on them and what that looks to me like a TIE Defender. I think it's probably what it is from the uh, X-Wing video game from the mid-90s. Uh, so that's three more ships. Again, three ships for the price of two. That's what makes it a good deal. And again, the same, the same thing. You've got all these all this cardboard that comes with it that helps you play the game. And, uh, and so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ships. Okay. We've got two more items in here. Uh, let's start with this one. Here is a Y wing expansion pack. You get the ship model plus everything you need to play the game with it. Uh, 14 cards, 15 tokens. Wow. 15. Uh, a miniature or a maneuver dial, and of course the uh, plastic ship with base and pegs, so that it will uh, slide around on the uh, playing surface. Uh, the reason I picked this one up is because you, you know you've got I've got X wings and Tie fighters and all these other ships, but you know the Y wing, the bombers from Episode Four, those, those should be accounted for as well. Okay. Next, the Tie advanced uh, uh, ship. You, it's clearly Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. The X-1, um, pretty sure I had the, the toy version of this, the, the 3 and 3, 4, yeah, the 118th scale toy for this at one point uh, when I was a kid. And again, this allows you to play as a TIE Advanced or as Darth Vader. I'm sure the Darth Vader card comes with this, with this set. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 14 ships. And what... What you see here is, as be and I've been studying this for a long time, folks. I did my homework on this. This is the best bang for your buck uh, you can get starting out. Uh, yes, it's pretty pricey, but if you uh, if you if you shop around, you can get a nice discount on all this stuff, which is exactly what I did. And again, this is a game I've been looking at for a long time. Looks interesting. Looks fun. Looks right down my alley. There was always the barrier of price uh, preventing me from. Uh, even you know trying it out uh, that barrier not so much a problem these days so I've treated myself and uh, we're gonna probably learn to play this game together again there are rules that allow you to play this solitaire which is how we'll be playing it and uh, we we'll playing it on this table here like I said I'm gonna get this giant black mouse pad that's the exact same size as the uh, football field two feet wide four feet long rather than three feet by three feet which is i couldn't even accommodate a card table in this room for those dimensions weirdly enough uh, but i just couldn't at least not at this time but we'll start with the basic rules which seem manageable and then we'll, we'll slowly add the uh, advanced rules now listen i have no intentions of playing this against another human opponent anytime soon i'm not interested in meta tournament gameplay in fact uh, tournament gameplay looks like a huge drag, which is the case with electric football and Sabudio and everything else. It feels like people playing this in a competitive level are, are, are pure misery. Uh, they, just, they just all seem miserable when you try to engage with them on social media. Uh, so we're not going to worry about the tournament meta. We're not going to worry about min-maxing and creating the best loadouts and, and the best squadrons and all that stuff. We're just going to have fun with it, okay? So uh, I'm looking forward to it, and if I do enjoy it, I'll probably pick up some more ships because, uh, you know, there's, there's no TIE Bomber uh, on the table right now, and there's a reason for that. It's because there is no TIE Bomber in version 2.0. What you have to do is, and I, I hope I explain this properly, you have to uh, buy a very expensive conversion kit for your chosen faction and then uh, find a 1.0 model or the 1.0 product, the 1.0 TIE Bomber, and then just convert all the cardboard parts onto the, the old model ship. And if, if that didn't make any sense to you, i got to be honest, it didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. It seems like a huge pain in the ass. This is what happens when a game changes its rules. Then you have all this old product that is no longer uh, useful. It's obsolete. Well, in this case, the, the physical plastic ship models can be used, but you have to upgrade the cardboard they came with to the 2.0 rules, which requires an an expensive conversion kit purchase. And, and even when you buy that conversion kit, you only get a finite number of upgrades in that. It, yeah, it doesn't sound... I'm not sold on that. It doesn't sound like a good value to me. And, and again, you can get on the internet and find uh, uh, huge, huge collections of X-Wing miniatures uh, pieces. 
uh, used, you know, open out of the package. But again, that's always a risky gamble, folks. Sometimes you don't know whether you're getting 1.0 or 2.0. Sometimes you don't know whether um, you're getting the cards and tokens that actually came with the sets originally, or if you're getting whatever the seller thinks you should have. And that's something to watch out for as well. Uh, but, you know, we got quite a bit of stuff here to do, folks. So, uh, you, what's to come in the future? Well, we're going to talk about it at some point down the road. I may have hinted about it. I may have touched on this in the, um, in the uh, third quarter uh, channel update, which, again, everything is so out of chronological order at this point. Uh, there's a chance you haven't even, I haven't even uploaded that yet. We, we won't know until I upload this one. But um, this is going to keep some content flowing in for the channel as I do these action figure reviews and as I explore learning this game. There's a lot of assembly required with this game. So, uh, you know, I have to take my time. I'll probably do that off camera because uh, without knowing what I'm doing, I don't need the added anxiety of screwing up on, cam on camera in the mix. But uh, there you go, folks. I hope this was enjoyable. I, I enjoyed opening these. Of course, I knew what all this was. Uh, but uh, thanks for so much for watching, and may the Force be with you. Talk to you again soon.